Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft PowerPoint session. In this session, I want to have a look at 3D models, which is on the Insert tab. And you can see it's part of the Illustrations group. First bit, you've got shapes, which are these are the old shapes that have been around quite a while in PowerPoint. You've then got icons, which are fairly new. Lots of different groups of icons. These replace the old clip art. Show my age by saying that, but there are hundreds and hundreds of different icons that you can select. I'll just cancel that. And also, if I go to pictures, just because I want to get something off here, stock images, you've got lots and lots of stock images. And again, you've got a little search thing there so I'll search for C because I want a, I want this turtle do I want this turtle yeah let's go for this turtle so I'll have this turtle as my background now I want them to fit on the whole slide so I'll just stretch it slightly like so so he's in the front now I might have to send him to the back later on, but let's have a quick look at this. So I want to insert a 3D model. So when you drop the arrow down, you get this device. That's if you've got any on your computer and this stock 3D models. And again, similar to the icons, you've got the, the search option at the top. So I'm going to search for fish and it gives me a, a set of fish that you can select from. Lots of different fish. Some a bit stranger than others. The one I want to get for this little demo is this one. So it's got a little symbol in there, which means this moves. They don't all move. You can move them and rotate them, which I'll show you in a second. But if I click on that, it takes a little while to download, and then you download the model that you like, and it should load up. like that so you can see them straight away that they are, they are moving they are swimming and if I put that into full screen you can see them swimming away in full screen now if I go in to 3d models again and get a different one so if I go this stock images and search for fish again um do i want that is that a shark no it looks like a trout but i think it might be you know it doesn't matter i love that one insert so some of these um don't move you have to move them yourself but you can rotate them so this one is just a fish that i can rotate but it's not actually doing anything spectacular by itself which is not really what I want because that's just a bit like the turtle background so I'm not going to have that one so I'll go back in there and look for something else so what I'll do is I'll search for shark now that one's moving it's got a little symbol on it so if I'll get that one insert that one I saw a big set of teeth further down. I could have got that one chasing the turtle. So there the shark is swimming away in the background, coming after this turtle. So I put that into full screen. There you go. So with these 3D models, you can get quite a dramatic or impressive slide. It's a pity the turtle's not moving, actually. There isn't one for a turtle that I've found. Press escape for that. I just want to delete these off for now on this one and get myself a new slide and insert another one a different set this time so if I go back in there you've got lots of different categories like that one and that's very similar to one called biology and you can bring these little things in this one hasn't got the all the major organs so if I go back go into biology so this is great for kids if you've got kids doing homework and need a, 
a quick look at something. So I'm going down to find the heart. And you see the little movement symbol there for the heart. So that's the one I want. Bring that in. So you can use use this with all the other features in um, PowerPoint. You know, pointing arrows to things and uh, uh, explaining what things are. But this is the 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 main one. Of the moving. If I put that into full screen, you'll see it doing it. It's quite strange to be to be honest. But let's do a little arrow. Let's shape arrow pointing at something so you can still type on these and it should say what it is change the font down a little bit in fact quite a lot you know so and then you can make that now obviously you can still print this off but it doesn't move when you print it off unless somebody's invented some paper that's interactive like they do on Star Trek but it's great for schoolwork if you're doing anything on the heart you can label this off so pulmonary vein pulmonary arteries aorta things like that all these things left ventricle right ventricle you can um, mim can spin this around so you can see the inside of it now if you find it difficult to do this that's a bit weird as well you can use the features on the top in the 3d model tab so you've got all of these different positions that i rotated through available from these and that's the same with all the models the 3d models you bring in so you can do it yourself by selecting this little icon or use these preset ones at the top and if it's a, a movable one you can turn that off and you can pause it and you can go and get a different one that's back into the models and you can reset this if you've messed it up which it puts it back to what it was on initially so I'll just delete that one off the reason I'm deleting it off I think it might just be my computer, but earlier I had about six or seven running at the same time and the computer didn't like it at all and kicked me out. So that's why I'm deleting them off. Now, let's go for um, biology again. So find biology. Can't find it. Gone past it, I think. Biology. So what have we got there? There's the only moving one I think was the the heart. None of these other ones seem to be moving. So I'll just get this the kidneys and have a look at that one. So this is more of a static one. So my layout is um, this default layout. You should probably have just have a blank slide. So on this one, look, you haven't got. The motion option but you just still, still got these things across the top um, but that's a uh, blue for vein red for artery and you can see how all that works and that's your bladder I take it but that's the a quick look at some of the 3d models so there's quite a lot uh, to choose from and I'm sure there's loads more that you can get online um, industrial ones you're looking for the little symbol in the corner if it's uh, a moving one um stickers none of these seem to have the little moving man in the corner okay that one does spoke too soon there what's that let's have a quick look i think the ones that move are much better falling leaves okay falling leaves Not at all. Okay. Now let's get rid of these. Get rid of that one. Come back onto this one. Now it seems to have deleted my little fish. I don't remember doing that, but it's disappeared. 
but it doesn't matter you get the idea that's how you use the 3d models so that's all i want to talk about in this exercise so thank you for your time and i'll see you next time